overall survival data with palbocyclic plus fulvestrant in women with hormone receptor positive, human epidermal growth factor receptor negative advanced breast cancer, the analysis of Paloma 3. Good morning, everyone. So we go from the most aggressive and uh, less frequent type of breast cancer to the most frequent and least aggressive in general type of breast cancer. So we presented the uh, overall survival analysis of the Paloma 3 study. The Paloma 3 study is a study that was designed back in 2010 with a new drug testing palbocycli, one of the first in class CDK46 inhibitors. And the intention at that time, considering the exciting data coming from an early phase two, was to find out if this drug in combination with fulvestrin was going to improve the progression-free survival <coughs> in patients that progress on endocrine therapy. And this is the most common situation. So we have 65% of patients with testosterone of hormone receptor positive breast cancer. So the majority of metastatic breast cancer patients are year positive. All these patients progress on endocrine therapy. And we show uh, uh, at the first interim analysis there was actually uh, the data uh, in December 2014 and published for the first time in uh, July of 2015 that there was an improvement in progression free survival statistical significance from 4.6 to 9.5 months. Uh, this follow-up continued. We had a number of correlative studies in other endpoints. The drug is very well tolerated. The quality of life is improved. The patient have a prolongation of time for chemotherapy. So today is the first time with a, with a median follow-up of 44, eight months, we were able to look at overall survival. Keeping in mind, it has been extremely difficult for this group of patients to show an overall survival advantage. So these are my disclosure. So this is the overall survival in the intact to treat analysis. Uh, compare the two groups, the palbocyprin, palfulvestrin, median overall survival of 35.9 months, compared to a median of 28 months. What is important uh, with regard to this data, as I told you, this patient had many treatment options, received a median of three lines of therapy in the placebo group, up to 10 lines of therapy after they progress. That the absolute improvement that we have seen in the progression-free survival is actually maintained in the group um, overall treated, in the overall survival analysis of 6.9 months. Important also to consider that the study was designed to stratify patients based on visual metastasis, uh, sensitivity to prior endocrine therapy, so patients had progressed uh, later uh, during their adjuvant therapy or they already got some benefit from first-line endocrine therapy. Every patient was already exposed to at least two lines of therapy or more. So when we look at the stratification factors, patients have been uh, exposed and they have been already showing endocrine sensitivity versus endocrine insensitive. Keeping in mind the vast majority, more than 400 patients, the 521 patients, are in fact endocrine sensitivity. We see that the magnitude of benefit is even larger. There is a, an improvement of six, 10 months in overall survival in the palbocyclic arm versus placebo arm. And this is quite significant, even though there was a secondary endpoint. 39.7 months versus 29.7 months. We also show in the data that there is a fraction of patient, 15%, even though the study did not allow a crossover, eventually down the road later, <coughs> Uh, for physician uh, choice, receive a CDK46 inhibitor. That could have impacted even, even more the difference in uh, overall survival, uh, so somewhat of decreasing the difference. So there is a statistical adjustment that can be done and show that the magnitude is even larger, and much larger than we see here with the sensitivity <coughs> to endocrine therapy. The other group is a very small group. So we, had to, uh, we want to just to make a point that uh, the progression free survival at the last follow up, this is data on October uh, 2017, 6.6 months is still maintained, and the same magnitude of benefit is shown in the overall survival 35.9 months and 28 months. So, our conclusion is that in patients with hormone receptor positive, F2 negative, advanced breast cancer, the combination of palbocycle and fulvestrin show a clinically meaningful improvement in overall survival. And this is explained much more in details in the paper and the presentation today. There is an absolute difference of 6.6 .6 months that's similar to uh, 6.9, similar to the progression of free survival difference of 6.6 .6 months. There is a significant 10 months improvement in overall survival in patients have prior sensitivity to endocrine therapy. Important, this drug did not interfere with the efficacy of other standard treatment after progression. Patient went to receive chemotherapy and other uh, different line of therapy. The safety profile did not change even with the longer follow-up. 
And we conclude that this findings confirmed that the use of pulp cycle plus fulvestin is a standard of care now in patients previously treated hormone receptor positive or negative advanced breast cancer. Okay, thank you, Massimo.